Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do a tutorial on this Rosewell Eolus Plus CPU cooler and I'm going to install this onto a motherboard. First, let's take a look at what comes in the box so you have an idea of what the components are. So here is the heatsink. It also comes with a 120 millimeter Rosewell and this is a uh, PWM fan. And of course, you get the user guide. Take a look at that for installation. And the uh, fan mounts via these um, rubber pins. Here is the back plate for Intel LGA 1366, 1156, 1155, and 775 socket setups. The AMD mounting clip. And in this bag is for your LGA 2011 socket setup. We have your brackets, different set of brackets, and these uh, spring-loaded mounting screws. Finally, we have some thermal compound. And the screwdriver is not included, of course, but you will need it to secure everything into place. Now, over here is a sample motherboard that I will be using to, uh, in order to mount the CPU cooler. This is the ASRock X79 Extreme 9 motherboard, and I've already installed the CPU on there. It is the Ivy Bridge E3960X CPU. So let's get started on the installation process. But first I do want to mention that I will not be doing the AMD setup since this is an Intel board. So we'll not be needing this AMD mounting clip or this Intel backplate because I will be focusing on the LGA 2011 socket setup. All right, let's take a look at this heatsink first, the base plate. I really like this because it's got direct contact heat pipes. Uh, much better for cooling and um, these brackets here go with the uh, Intel 11, I mean 1366, 1156 and so on setup as well as AMD but in order to install the LJ2011 of course you will need these like I have mentioned before so let's remove these uh, brackets right here. Now I'm going to take these brackets here and screw them into place so here we go. There. Now that that's secure, I'm going to go ahead and apply the thermal compound. So I'm going to use the grain of rice method. I just put a glob here in the center on top of the CPU like this and just get spread by itself later. Yeah. Alrighty. Next, I'm going to install this onto the uh, CPU. But first, let's get some spring-loaded screws ready. Just put the screw through here just like this. And let's set this on top. There we go. First, you're going to secure this in place by screwing this in, and you'll need a screwdriver to finish that uh, in just a little bit. So let me just get this on there. And be sure to do it in an X fashion so it screws in correctly. I'm going to get the last one on here now. Then I'm going to take the screwdriver and make sure they're fastened on there. All right, here we go. So start with this one. Finally, let's get the fan installed. So first we're going to take these rubber pins and go ahead and push them in here at the top, just like this and the bottom. Get over here. There we go. Once you have that on there, take the fan and push these rubber pins through all the way. And there we have it. All you need to do is plug in this connector. Now, it has been installed. 
That wraps up this tutorial on this Rosewell EOLIS Plus CPU cooler. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.